braking is another thing with uh, finesse. You know, you got to know how much front, how much rear. Don't don't lock up the rear. You know, don't lock up the front. Not too much front, not too much back. And that that comes with riding. It takes not even thinking about it. You know, riding when you ride a motorcycle motorcycle correctly, you don't think. It comes natural. When you think, you hold on tight. You don't look ahead. You're you know you're not flowing with the bike. <laughs> This downhill is steeper than any downhill I've seen on any race course or a national course. Um, as I come from the top, there's a couple bumps down the hill, and I hop once, hop again, and right when I'm coming down in the corner, that's when I hit my brakes. Uh, you have a sharp left here, so um, you want to hit the brakes real hard or you're going to be flying over the berm. I use my front brake quite a bit harder on something like this because that's where all your stopping power is. Uh, when you get down to the bottom of the downhill, there's some braking bumps. Um, you know, Definitely you want to squeeze with your legs, let your arms be free a little bit so you can kind of go with the bike. You have to be one with the bike when you start hitting these big braking bumps because it's going to kick, if you're holding on tight, it's going to be kicking your forward. Okay, now when I come in the corner, I have to shift down from this downhill. You know, every bike's different. You might have to shift down once, you might have to shift down twice. You want to shift not when you're coming into the braking bumps because if you're in a lower gear, that wheel is not going to be as free going over those bumps. The suspension's not going to be free. The engine's not going to be free. So a higher gear will let you go over those bumps smoother so then after you're over those bumps, then you can do your downshift, then into the corner. A lot of people come down this hill, brake early, and then when they get to the jump, they'll blip the gas. So it'll make the bike have, uh, it'll get more air, and they're braking too soon. For me, I come down the hill as fast as I can, brake, and then coast off the jump where I can stay lower and um, I'm not catching as much air and I can hold the gas on and my speed into the jump a lot harder. Uh, when I come down the hill, you know, I'm on the front and the back brake evenly. You know, I never use one or the other too much. You know, you don't want to lock your brakes up coming down. You don't want to lock the tires up. But when the track is very hard like this one is and you're coming into it with that much speed, you're going to have a tendency of locking it up, but you got to have control of the brake to know when you're doing it and knowing you're not doing it. If the bike, if it's locking up but the wheel's kind of still turning a little bit, that's okay. But a lot of people come in a full skid, then you have no control of the bike in the full skid. The bike will do this, will do this, and when you come off the jump, you'll be sideways, and then again, you won't be riding for a couple months. Now I'm on the gas as hard as I can, and then brake hard as I can. And But again, on a slippery surface, you got to have the control or the... Uh, you know the patience there to not just completely lock them up but have you gotta again be with one with the bike you know feel you gotta feel what the bike's doing don't just do what you think you want to do you gotta feel what the bike's doing too for me when you do it for so long it just comes natural you don't think about it it just it's just what you do you know but for riders that are learning you know pay attention to what the bike's doing I mean each bike's different you know two strokes you don't have the engine brake but four stroke you do but again it's a feeling thing you know you got to know what the bike's going to do, and sometimes on a four-stroke you can give it a little bit, just a little blips, you know, off it to keep it from engine braking. But also if you're in a higher gear and then you can shift down in the air, you're not going to have so much engine brake. 